We've got a Friday gratitude day with uh, my friend, client, brother, Lyle Landowski, um, partner at Collier's. Uh, Lyle and I met, man, four, five, six years ago? Yeah, um, probably maybe seven, eight. Is it that long? When I started getting an active lifestyle again. Yeah, and then you were in and out a little bit, so I don't count those first years. Yeah, no, that's fair. You're more consistent now. <laughs> So I'm really grateful for Lyle. He brings um, a lot of energy, joy to every workout that he comes to. He works out with uh, Dan and uh, some knucklehead named Ian. <laughs> um, but, and that every time I, I run into, I mean, actually that we met back at US Bank, just ran into each other and uh, um, Lyle also does a lot for the city. Collier's does a lot for the city. Um, all of these businesses, um, that are collectively help make Milwaukee such a great spot. So I'm grateful for uh, Lyle, and uh, I just want to hear what what Lyle's take on gratitude is. Yeah, no, thanks for uh, thanks for having me. Um, I mean, gratitude first of all is acknowledging the good, right? And uh, I think it's two words come to my mind is is sort of choice and disposition. Uh, sometimes it's a little harder to see the good, but the good is always there. So it's a matter of choice. You know, do we acknowledge the good and do we acknowledge there's good outside of us you know sometimes we have a introspective look on the world but there's good in others uh, there's good in the world um, so I think it's making the choice to see the world from that lens uh, which really means disposition right it's it's like over time that choice becomes a disposition uh, sort of a, a stance in life uh, and I think it it just improves your life your decisions uh, your company uh, it sort of bleeds into all those different areas. Uh, so I think it's really a matter of perspective and sometimes it's harder than others yeah. you know, to do it and that's okay, there's seasons for that. But I think at the, end of, uh, at the end of the analysis, you know, choosing to look at the world and to see the good in the world and focus a little bit more on that yeah. than the other stuff is just good for our, for our health overall. That is so good, so concise. Um, choice and disposition. Uh, I had a guy on uh, earlier, a couple months ago, talking about point of focus. Mm. Where is your point of focus? Right. And if we get fixated on all the crazy yeah. that's out there that um, so many outlets uh, um, promote, because that's what we want to consume, evidently. Right. Well, and it's interesting, too, like, if you need to stop every once in a while in life and actually think about it, right? We just we run, we run. I shared with you the other day, I stopped to think about my relationship yeah. with you, yeah. you know, with PP, uh, PMPG, but really specifically you and the different areas, its influence, the people you've introduced me to, you yeah. know, traction, which just changed our company, uh, referrals that we've had back and forth. Yeah. It's been a gift getting my physical self back. Yeah. Um, so I think it's, if you don't ever choose to stop to acknowledge that good, you're sort of robbed of something in life. So I think it's yeah. just slowing down and acknowledging that good. That's awesome. That is so good. Um, and some really smart guy a long, long time ago said something about being still. Mm, exactly. <laughs> Hard to do, but good. Good to do. Yeah. So thank you, Lyle. Thanks yeah. for coming in.